Welcome to Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois Nonprofit Home Video and Artworks Creations In this particular video we will be looking at New Curiosity Rover SOL 103 land surface images on Mars in which reveals African pyramids that have apexes in which places the colonization on Mars within a 20 to 50,000 year time frame. So when we look at the time window uh, of Africans leaving Mars and traveling to the uh, African continent, we must first look at corresponding globe earth geographic and uh, step pyramid Mercator projection lines on, as they are ever viewed upon the African continent. When we solve the theological debate concerning 1 John 1 1 15 billion year old sun throne that exists in the black outer regions of space before it created the 5 billion year old world this would be equal to uh, Malachi 4th chapter 2nd verse wing Sundays which is the home of the Egyptian Ka and Ba of the human soul and mind so when we go back to the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible we see theological racism being displayed within the pages of every Bible that exists upon the surface of planet Earth and when we look at the 1611 King of England original theological racism as, as displayed within the Bible concerning Africa and the fourth son of Jacob which is Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse Couching Ethiopian lion sphinx of ancient Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. So we are looking at the exposure of the 400 year old false man based religion of the world. When we look at the same African sphinx on Mars, or E7 sphinx near pyramids that have apex area, which is filmed by the Curiosity rover SOL 103 images. Now, when we go back to the African pyramids in Egypt, we must first identify Africans and Africa first. That's the first thing on the theological and archaeological list as it reconnects the astronomical data of Mars Curiosity Rover SOL 103 African pyramids that have apexes images to the God of the Bible. Now remember, the God of the Bible is connected to the Isaiah 1919 uh, Giza pyramids in Africa and the line in the tribe of Judah is the origin of Judaism now you got to understand we are talking about the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible that's now read in every neighborhood church that illegally placed used the uh, illegal name change through the 1611 King of England when he appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars they used the illegal name change of Jacob and so where every place in the Bible where the name of Jacob appears the name of Israel was uh, inserted so when uh, modern Christians today use the illegal name change uh, referring to Israel they are using a uh, false name now when we go back to the original name of the 12 sons of Jacob we see the uh, fourth son of Jacob of Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse there's a black African lion sphinx in front of the North African pyramids facing these toward the sun throne in which the Bible refers to as the biblical light that existed in the black outer regions of space in which returns in the cube crystal city structure of New Jerusalem crystallographic projected one on one atomic planes so when we go back to the theological racism that denied the African sphinx in front of the uh, Isaiah 19 19 Giza pyramids uh, solar theology because I need a human car and bar and Malachi 4 2 wing Sundays, which turns out in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible to be 1 John 1 1, 15 billion year old sun throne, original holy hydrogen light of creation that existed in the black outer regions of space before it created the 5 billion year old world. So, this holy hydrogen light of creation is the origin of the human car and bar. So, we're talking about the sun again in it, as it shines 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space towards the earth. So, when we go back to the African sphinx in Egypt 
as the fourth son of Jacob, we're talking about the origin of African Judaism. Okay, now, when, when we do not connect the black African Bible as to the geographic uh, globe earth tail permit Mercator projections, in which appears in the dome of the rock octagonal building structure out of the wall stone rectangular window frame uh, uh, area as the 784 ancient Babylonian style pyramid. So the Babylonian style pyramid is dealing with geography. When we connect the black African things to a geographic land grid, in which uh, in which the globe earth style permit Mercator projection uh, describes geometrically, we see that the corners of the Dome of the Rock outer wall 784 window frame of a Babylonian uh, style pyramid, the corners of the Babylonian style pyramids uh, are the three triangular apex areas of the area view Giza pyramid. So the steps uh, of the first black African stealth pyramid civilization of Ham, uh, in which appears as in Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan mountain area. Now we go back to Africa and we see pyramid that has apexes in Africa today. But however, we go to South Africa and North Africa, we're going to see pyramid that have apexes and we're going to see stealth pyramid structures. However, the oldest of the stealth pyramids in Africa uh the uh, uh appears in Afghanistan. Okay. Mountain area. They look like cuneiform stone wedges in front of stealth pyramids. So this is the oldest of stealth pyramids on the earth. This stealth pyramid that has a cuneiform like wedge or ramp in front of it. But in the mountains of Afghanistan we see uh African Adam as a five face and because of the cuneiform like wedges in front of the stealth pyramid it gives us a geographic coordinate vector to African Adam uh, colonization of Earth from Mars. So this brings us back full circle to the Curiosity rover image, uh, SOL 103, where we see African pyramids that have apexes and a real African thing couched down in, up on the Martian land surface, one a real headdress. So we remember the, the time frame we're talking about, 20 to 50,000 year time where we can place the Africans leaving Mars and colonizing Earth. Now, as it relates to the uh, biblical light that created the world, that's the sun in outer space. And the ancient Egyptians and North Africans and South Africans had the winged sun that's on their temple walls, representing 1 John 1 1 15 billion year old sun throne that exists in the black outer region of space. So, this is the holy hydrogen light of creation element of all human souls as it's connected to a winged sun. Disc. So when we go back to ancient Egypt, the theology of the solar theology of the black African Sphinx as the fourth son of Jacob that was denied in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible and theological racism by the 1611 King of England and the 72 Greek and Hebrew appointed scholars. When they placed their illegal name change of uh, Jacob, uh, Israel, so they, the illegal name change was changing the name of Jacob into Israel and placing that name Israel in every place in the Bible where the name of Jacob appears. So this is why when modern Christians refer to Israel today, they are using the illegal name change of Jacob. Okay, so you say, well, uh, why is that so important to disregard the name of Israel? in the Bible because if you dis if you erase the name of Israel out of the Middle East all you have left in uh, Jordan, Palestine, Ethiopia, uh, Giza, Gaza, Gaf, Escalon and uh, Syria and Afghanistan and Iraq is the 12 sons of Jacob. You say oh so what you're talking about is the illegal use of the name of Israel in the King James Bible.